Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Observable Flutter. My name is Craig LeBenz, and I am your host. So far, as always, who knows? Maybe one day there will be an adventurous other primary host. Uh, and today I'm pretty excited to talk about an extension built on top of Flame. And it's called Bonfire. And Bonfire is uh, specifically uh, a bunch of helpers that you need to build an RPG style game in Flame and Flutter. You know, think if you're uh, trying to make Stardew or some other, you know, Vampire Survivors or some of those really uh, super popular indie games, you might start with Bonfire. And I'm joined today. Oh, wait, I always get into this too early. One second. First of all, remember Code of Conduct, folks. This is the Flutter community, uh, kindness always. I, I really, I actually do enjoy on Hump Day Q&A. If you don't watch Hump Day Q&A, you should. They uh, have this whole thing, spells out all this stuff. And the one thing they talk about is, you know, if you're unpleasant in the chat on, on Hump Day Q&A, then they share that around with other people. Same is true here. Uh, though I don't think we've ever had anyone rise to that level of, of earning themselves the band hammer. So that's always good. Uh, but yes, I am joined today by Trey Hope, a Flutter YouTuber, uh, who has made some content on Flame and on Bonfire specifically. So of course I had to reach out and collaborate on, uh, on that. So let me switch back here and, uh, Trey, welcome to Observable Flutter. What's going on, man? Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you taking the time uh, and just, you know, not only the time to be here today, but the time to make all those YouTube videos that you've made uh, for folks who haven't seen Trey's uh, YouTube channel. Trey, how, how would they find you? What would they search? Yeah, you can find me on uh, pretty much all platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, uh, but just type in Trey, T-R-E-Y dot code c-o-d-e-s and then i should pop up all right yeah i'm i'm just grabbing the link to your youtube channel right now and i'm going to make a banner with it add banner that. there it is there you go thank you so uh this is where you can find trey's flutter content that's where i found it and Trey, you came recommended to me someone i, I i'd seen some of your videos before but when i got started on the flame series recently someone was like have you seen trey's things and i was like the time is now so your your reputation precedes you um I'm glad to hear that all right uh and it was it was steph actually who did the recommending and hey, i'm glad steph. you're here hey. steph yeah steph the author of the flutter uh tech or technical reviewer of the flutter apprentice uh, i've actually talked to steph before yeah she's good people nice 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 yeah. uh God, I, I love I love all of this. Uh, love folks in the Flutter community collaborating here. Uh, OK, so Trey, you're the you're the bonfire expert. Um, so I'm going to be driving today. You're going to be coaching, and, but I'm going to lean on you for uh, for expertise and, you know, a, a little bit of know how in terms of getting things wired up. <clears throat> I've so far run. Actually, let, let's switch to the correct settings here. Uh, I'm going to have to do this real quick. I want this one. Here we go. Get in there. OK, so I have created a fresh Flutter Create. I've added Flame and Bonfire and Flame Tiled, which I presume I'll need. Uh, and then I have downloaded an off-the-shelf map and added it to okay. assets, but I haven't actually gotten this to load yet. So I think I still have to do some tweaking to something in this. Uh, last time I ran it, it was a black screen. Um, mm -hmm. But so here we can see pretty darn fresh. And uh, how do you get started with Bonfire? Yeah, so um, I guess the first thing I guess would be to get the actual map loaded. So it's not like you have the assets in there. So if you go to the main.dark where you have the bonfire widget, uh, let's see. Here. Oh, so I'm not even using the bonfire widget yet. I suppose I, I need to do that, huh? Um, I'm trying to think. 
I'm pulling up the uh, bonfire docs on another slide, and then I'm going to bring it into um, bring it into the main screen so everyone can look at it. All right, so <clears throat> looking at the bonfire docs here, yeah, I always like to start from total ignorance so we can all learn together here. So let's look at their getting started, which is linked out here. Here we go. I would like to, yeah, no more. And now we need to make this text bigger. It's interesting. Why did this load in a new tab? Oh, I didn't command click. That's what happened. All right. So created with the purpose uh, that creating Flutter games is easy, objective, and fast. So built on top of Flame, as we see, da, 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 there's examples. Let's look at getting started. Oh, right, the joystick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's such a great... Um... All right, so let's get to here. So world map by tiled is... Is this a widget from Bonfire? I believe it is. Yeah, I believe it is. Okay. Or it, it's either from Bonfire or from the Flutter tile package. But that is... Uh, I think that what you have right now, you have a world object being set to the map. Correct. But I think we're going to scrap all this. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we just replace that with the bonfire world. And I need one more, I think. All right, so let's add some imports here. Bonfire widget, and then we need this joystick, I guess. Oh, this is also from bonfire, great. Uh, so this one's probably redundant. So we're bringing in all of bonfire. All right, what do you yeah. need and so here? They're here for, uh, for the map. The, yeah, that's where the map would equal that world map by tile. Okay. So we've got that going. Now, this is where uh, I will use my actual path, which is assets dungeon tiled. And then the map file is sample map.tmx for me, sample map.tmx. And this is the last thing that I was playing with. In sample map.tmx, it points to this source, which I think needs to also be the absolute path to sample sheet.tmx. And in sample sheet.tmx, we get the source to the full uh, actual tile map, the, sp the sprite. And this mm -hmm. I was just editing, but I haven't run it yet. So this may work, but it probably won't. I don't think that you need the uh, assets slash dungeons path or part in the path when specifying it in the main.dart file. Oh, I think you can really? just do, yeah, I think it's just sample map.tmx if you have it in the right directory. Hmm. Interesting. But I could be, I could be wrong. I know what usually when I set it up, I just specify the actual name of the file. All right, well, let's dive into that as well. Where do you put it? Because I've right now got it in assets. So this is my project, bonfire mm -hmm. example, folder name is bonfire. Uh, in the assets dungeon directories, there's all of these assets. Right. Um, so, so I noticed it's, it's, it's kind of weird. I noticed, well, I guess you can use either JSON or TMX. Um, mm -hmm. when it's, when it's a JSON file, it would be in the images directory, but then for like TMX files, it would be in the tiles directory. I think that's right. So either, or just depending on what file you, if you're using TMX, we'll put it in the tiles directory, tiles directory under assets. Uh, so you're saying you basically just skip this dungeon layer. Yeah. Well, you may be able to put it in there error. still, but I'm not sure. Uh, uh, oh, only it only JSON. supports JSON files. Oh, well. Yeah, I think I think if I'm not mistaken, Bonfire only does JSON, and then Flame lets you do TMX and the other one. Ah, yeah. uh, Trey, do you potentially have a map with a JSON file that uh, I could borrow? <laughs> uh, I, didn't, I didn't anticipate that. Yeah, let me let me see here. Um, probably have one like for Mario that you could use. Okay. Let me see. 
see if I can get this populated. Uh, I have to read yeah, so it. world map by tile. Let's see here. So this does come from bonfire. Now, the other thing I could try to do is load this up in tiled and see if I can then export it as JSON. I don't know who oh, I haven't used tiled since I ran, uh, since I was building the, the world for the zombie game. So let's make a new project. I got to say the tiled UI is a little, <laughs> it's a little weird, a little to be desired. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, hold on. I'm getting it right now. Mm, Matt, Matt, Jason. And grab that from here. All right. How should I send this to you? Uh, do you want to email it? Uh, yeah, I'll do that right now. All right, folks. Thanks for uh, bearing with us here. I'm gonna pull this out of my email real quick. All right, just sent. Your hero, Trey. This is when keeping it real goes wrong. <laughs> when <laughs> staying ignorant leads to big surprises. All right, waiting for, there we go. Got the stuff. Love it. Now, this is just the JSON file. I'm going to need your assets as well, right? Um... Trying to think. You zip up the structure that you have with yeah, those. Yeah, I guess I guess that would make sense. Let me do that. Mm. All right. Well, I'll still bring that in for now. Who's got a Who's got a either interesting Flutter joke or uh, just thing that you learned or is something to share during uh, from the last week? Put it in a chat and we'll pop it up and talk about it while Trey and I fumble around with these maps. Uh, all right, I'm going to downloads. That's what I'm doing. There it is. Uh, let's see. Audio, no. Images. I think and I could just send you the title, but I'm not sure. Let's see, share, compress. All right, I'm going to email the files that come along with that JSON file. I may need to send right. over another directory as well, but maybe this is all you need, but we'll see. Uh, mm, new release of Flutter yesterday, shortly after hump day ended, Randall says. Oh, is that a hot fix? Or was it a new beta? Probably a new hot fix. Do you know what was fixed, Randall? All right, waiting us awaiting the second email over here. Um, Minor fix on stable for more stability. Ah, a few iOS rendering things. Were they in? Um, what's the thing that I'm thinking of here? Maybe impeller related. <laughs> is this the boring show? Well, it is boring right now, so. You know what? Right. Yes. All right, just send, send it over to you. Okay, great. Uh, let, this is a, a similar works. thing. Awaiting that email's arrival. If this has an attachment, it might take a little second longer to get to me. Um, yeah, this is a, a live stream that has boring show vibes for sure, <laughs> including today, where our my like player to come in here. Vibe. Not knowing anything about bonfire has meant uh, I don't have the right map type, which is delaying our launch. Okay, come on, Internet. Get me this email. Uh, I'd love... Oh, there's a website with the release notes. What do you think? Do you think I'm working on the team supposed to know about that? A lot of pressure. I love that character in South Park Tweak. Oh, it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> He's just always freaking out. 
All right, got this images directory. Do you have the images directory next to world map JSON? Uh, world map JSON is in the images directory. In the images directory. Okay, and I see it, you've yeah. re-included that. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. I've, I've also sent over a tiles directory, but I'm not sure if that's necessary or not, but it shouldn't be. Okay. So uh, we're bringing the screen back in. Screen, get in the game. Uh, pub spec. Okay. So my new setup is in assets. We've got this images directory that has all the stuff. So I'm just going to say assets images and that's it. Then in main dot, then I'm going to press command M and minimize instead of, uh, open main dot dart. Now in here, we can actually use, um, oh, what was it called? It's got a, it's got a full uh, name, World 1-1 one, one Map. This is, this is great naming. So you believe we can do this, and mm -hmm. then I am not using this at all, and I could begin. Right. We could run this. Right. Should okay. work. In the words of... What's his name? Samuel Jackson in Jurassic Park. Hold on to your butts. I love this giant red air. Oh, no directionality widget found. Let's wrap it in a material app. Oh, is that what that means? Uh, it will, material app will add that, yeah. So this is what, okay. home? Is that what we give this? And then... Okay, restart. All right, we got the joystick. That's good, but there is another error. Wait, why does it still say it can only support JSON files? We are super duper using a JSON file. Does it make any sense um, to you? Do you need, I'm trying to think. Uh, you weren't debugging it, so it shouldn't, that shouldn't be an issue. I was wondering if you had to restart it completely, but you already did. Yeah, I'm trying that now, but I'm not optimistic this is going to help. Uh, wow, yeah, it's uh, maybe I'll have a tile set source. Only supports JSON files. Let's look up that error and figure out where it's happening. It's not in, oh, Tiled World, tiled world Builder. I'm just going to search in here, JSON... Oh, no, it's not in this file either. Uh, I think I'm going to clone Bonfire and uh, <laughs> I'm going to clone <laughs> Bonfire and just search for this error. Does this. Uh, what if you, you, have what any if you other search? Error? What do you search in the oh, search bar? Right. The, like, this is actually left. right here. Uh, well, this isn't going to search in the dependencies, I don't think. But I've so we found one here. It says print tiled world map error error. And so that's what we're getting down here. And then it says, so there's an exception coming from probably this read map method. My guess is that's it. Uh, oh, is it just having like a JSON? I mean, this sure seems like valid JSON. Weird. Oh, let's try giving it. I have an idea. Let's try assets images. Let's try that. Maybe the that error be, yeah. is not that precise. Right. I see what you're saying. Oh, okay. The asset doesn't exist. No, we're moving. This is good. Okay. So it loaded the file and now, oh, I keep moving this up as if that's going to raise this text. So it loaded the file, but now this is getting double concatenated. So that's not right. really what we want. Uh, so we don't need the assets images on that. Well, we seem to have needed it on. Um, so this, I mean, it, it was able to actually, oh, wait a minute. No, you're right. 
now it says, yeah, unable to. Oh, you're totally right. I'm not sure why the JSON isn't popping up though for the map. That's weird. Yeah. So uh, Jeffrey says it's possible that there's syntax error in the JSON, which is looking more and more uh, likely. But boy, I don't. Oh, there's. So look at this. We there is also there's other errors that we're gonna get to. Like this isn't right. Like oh yeah, you were mentioning the tiles directory that you sent that you weren't sure if I was gonna need. Mm -hmm. I think I am gonna need it. Yeah. So I sent over the tiles directory. I'm glad I did that. Okay. You should have that in your email too. Then. All right. Pulling it in. It be, Thank you. Download. It should be two. It should be two files. Okay. Grabbing that out of my downloads folder and tiles unzipping yeah there it is oh this is so funny all that's in here is the tm max oh yeah that is literally what it specifies okay screen back in the game hopefully that works Let's try it again. So what I did, because this says it wants to go up a level and then into the tiles folder, I put it up a level and next to images. I okay, hope that's yeah. appropriate. Yeah, that's how it should anyway, be. Anyway, we're back to the same error. Only supports JSON files. Hmm. So that is coming from, we saw that was, yeah, here. And I presume it's in read map. So I'm going to print and we'll just see. I think we're going to get flag one, but not flag two. And while that's happening, I'm going to go back into read map and poke around some more. So from server, that's not it. So we're not in that statement. Otherwise, it's just reader.read. Yeah, we got flag one, not flag two. So we go into this reader.read method, and that's here. So this says root bundle load string path file. So let's see if we get print data. And then JSON decode the data. All right, this is already going to be enough to be interesting in all likelihood. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh aptly aren't tutoriales says i thought i was the only one who got errors no no i am an error machine okay so which was the last thing it's obviously loading the file and a lot of looks like base 64 encoded stuff there so result so we're even json decoding the result and then there's just going to be there's some exception in here oh here we go. This is thrown literally. So if the tile set dot source doesn't contain JSON or TSJ, this is the specific problem. Tile set dot source. And do you still have the TSX file set somewhere? Uh, well, I haven't gotten rid TMX. of anything that you've sent. Okay. Well, I mean, in, in the code where you're calling the the path is that still referencing TMX or something by chance in main.dart? I don't think so. Yeah, okay. we, I've gotten rid of basically everything else. Okay. So if we go back to this read method, yeah, so tile set, where are you? So map tile sets. Oh, and then we're looping over. I see. So yeah, so we're in a, an async loop here. Uh, so map.tile sets. And then this tile set has to have a source that is a string. And it has to have, so let's look at the source key in, and see if we can figure out what tile sets is in the, and we're still reading, this is all from the JSON file. So in the JSON file, tile sets, here we go. So I'm expecting somewhere, here's a source. And it has TSX, not JSON. That's the error. But you've you made a video about this. How did you do you remember bumping into this error at all? It should, it looks like it's referencing tiles though. So that should work. 
because you have that in the tiles directory, right? The TSX file. So I agree that this should this seems like it would work, but that's mm. this is the code that's complaining. Got you. Right. So it says in the given tile set, <clears throat> the source key, if it's not null, it has to contain these two extensions. And mm -hmm. we just definitely don't. Uh, and okay. yeah, folks in the folks in the chat are noticing this as well. I don't know how they saw it before I put it on the screen, but that was mighty fine sleuthing. <laughs> um, I think... all right, so we need a we need a JSON map here. Interesting. Why is this being so? I think if I'm not mistaken, I noticed. Okay, so the file I sent over, I think this might be a rookie mistake, but I've been working on converting the Mario game from Flame to Bonfire. So it was originally in Flame. So I mm. might have sent over a file that was using for Flame, but the JSON file is what I've been using most recently for Bonfire. Okay. That's just, just still work. Uh, I'm just thinking out loud why it's not working. Yeah, yeah. So you sent the you sent something that runs on your machine. Yes, yes. And I'm using Bonfire right now, so that should work. But let me see. Oh, you know what we can do potentially? I just had an idea that I think might work pretty well. Let's go to Bonfire Flutter and download one of their examples and steal the map. That works too. That's a good idea. That would save a lot of time. So I guess we can go to GitHub. And I'll make this bigger. And in examples, lib. Let's see what they've got here. Shared. Oh no, is it going to be? You want to take their at yeah the assets. All right, so uh, assets, images. They've got a ton of stuff. It would uh, probably is, be uh, uh, in maps. Is there a map directory? Or so they do have tile. All right, so here's the floors. And then I wonder if we're going to have to just take all of this probably would have to all right that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna go back to bonfire and i'm going to just download this i'm gonna download the zip for now uh, all right i also have maybe this would work i'm going to send over uh, another map for another game that i made uh, for the green ninja this less files so maybe this uh, will translate a little bit oh. easier coming over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was your YouTube video. Yeah, so we'll see. This one's a very basic map, but hopefully this works better for what we're trying to do. Yeah, basic will, basic will do. Uh, let's see here. All right, so I'm going to hold off on using the downloaded bonfire example, and I'm going to try to use the Green Ninja map as well. All right, let's see, then email it. Uh... So while we're doing this, I uh, heard a great joke the other day. Actually, I heard it several times, but I heard it again recently. Uh, oh, you know, I think I told this joke on stream recently, actually. So some of you are going to know the answer. What do you call a widget that lives in Washington, D.C.? This is a very U.S.-centric joke. What do you call a widget that lives in Washington, D.C.? <laughs> waiting for an answer in the chat. I think I know also, the answer. If I do, that's funny. That's pretty funny. Right? It's not bad. Randall recalls the joke. And you're being a good citizen and letting other people guess. All right. I'm putting the images directory in... Uh, I've moved images over. So this images directory is now everything from your game. Yes. I'm going to delete this, which was also from the old thing. And yep. the map now, name in this one is going to be different. It's going to yeah. be map1.json? Yes. 
Okay. So close a bunch of stuff. Map one dot JSON. Here we go. All right, we've got our first answer, a capital widget. You're thinking in the right direction. But a widget in DC, that was actually the first answer. Both of them, not quite what we're looking for. Uh, but you are you are on the right track. Okay. Hey, look at us. We have a map. It's not so, the yeah. fanciest thing in the world. Very basic It'll map, do. just empty space. Yep. It'll do. Okay. It's time to start uh, doing some bonfire things. So, uh, Trey, one of the yes. things that I was impressed by in your video was just how easy uh, Bonfire makes it to control a character and swap to the correct facing sprite every time they move. Uh, you know, every time mm -hmm. you change their direction and whatnot. So, mm -hmm. um, oh, we've got another answer here. Is it? is center the answer uh washington dc does think it's the center of the universe so that's also a pretty good answer but not the one we're looking for uh so trey i would love to begin by uh by adding the main character to this game and moving it around and seeing the asset swap because i thought that was really strong from bonfire gotcha okay so is this um we had to figure out what type of player we're creating um, because if it's if we're doing it from a perspective of like 45 degrees or top down level, then mm -hmm. um, if I'm not mistaken, you would need to add specific animations for going towards the left. I don't think that you could just swap it as easily um, if you're doing it from a certain type of player because there's three different type of players you can have in the game. Um, simple player, rotation player, and platform player. And they're all based on how you're viewing the character. So some characters you wouldn't necessarily be flipping. You have to have a specific direction for what you want to do. But uh, we can figure that out as we're going along with it, uh, okay. as we're creating the player. Okay. Are there any player assets in the stuff that you just sent? Yes, there's a asset for the Green Ninja, which is the main character. Uh, is there, I don't see Green Ninja, Team Ninja, Green Ninja, Blue Ninja. Blue Ninja. Oh, here we go. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, there's that one. Okay, so yeah, let's add this Green Ninja. Oh, there's lots of different ninjas. Let's add the Green, oh man, these are kind of terrifying. <laughs> yeah, Let, wh enemies. What do you say we just pick whatever perspective is appropriate for this asset and add uh, the Green Ninja to the game? Yep, that sounds good. Okay. We also did get it. It is a stateless widget because Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia, is not a state. All right. Oh, wow. So, uh, all right. How do I uh, how do I get started adding the Green Ninja, Trey? So we can create uh, a new class called, I guess, Green Ninja uh, okay. or whatever we want to name the player. And then mm -hmm. we would extend uh, a simple player widget. Uh, simple simple player. player? Yeah. Okay. All right. So that looks like it's already and imported. It should have a. Oh, we have to call the constructor. Oh, geez. All right. That was nice. All right. So it needs a position, it needs a size. Now, one thing I am comfortable with in vanilla flame is like where. You know, I would probably extend one of these widgets or I would extend the world. And in the onload method of that new class is when I would call the add method to bring in the, the green ninja here. Does it work the same way in Bonfire or does it work differently? So in Bonfire, you actually just assign an instance of the green ninja to the player property that's on the Bonfire widget. Uh, okay, so there's a player right here. So we'll yeah. say player equals uh, green ninja. Yeah. Okay. And then we need to specify uh, the position, which is going to be like where we want it on the map. Um, you know, just starting out, we could yeah, we could do something like that. And then the uh, size, 
which I think I typically had them at 32 by 32. Okay. So yeah, if you, yeah, you should change that to 32. That should, that should look good. Okay. Uh, oh, I've still got all of those print statements happening and I don't really want them anymore. So I'm going to very quickly, uh, kill those. Actually, I'll restart the app while this happens. Okay. It was in the builder and then it was in read map. So I got rid of these two and then in read map, we'll look for these other print statements. Oh. Uh, now we're gonna have to click on read. Read map. Da, 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 da. All right, I can't find it. We'll worry about it in a second. Okay, so we didn't assign the asset to our green ninja yet. So I'm actually, in hindsight, not surprised right. that we don't have anything. <laughs> You're right. Um, and so for that, that's where we would pass in on the green ninja. Mm hmm. In the super constructor, there should be a. Actually, what we can do is uh, add a super constructor to the simple player to specify the animation. Yeah, so I'm seeing this simple direction animation thing, yeah. which I think, if, if I remember right from your video, this is where a lot of the heavy lifting starts to happen. It, it gets pretty technical at that point, but I, only the thing is, the only thing. There's only two methods required for the simple direction animation, I believe, and that's okay. facing right and running right. So you don't have to have animations for every direction on the map as far as where the player Ooh. can go. So okay. if you, yeah, if you hover under that, yeah, so only auto right and run right are required. Interesting. Okay. So we'll say idle right and oops. So in this instance, right. if you were to have, we could, for this character, I believe we could do the like flip rotation thing if you wanted to, mm -hmm. but since it's already a field here where we can specify what it looks like going left, you know, that might yeah. help too. It just, no, I think that would bit. totally, yeah, I think it, I think that would be totally fine. Um, okay. So how do I define where this spray? Oh, wait, this is just a flame sprite animation. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I've actually never used a sprite animation in Flame. So uh, you can tell that I'm not yeah, actually a, a professional game developer yet. <laughs> I think there's another like sprite animation.load or sprite.load. Yeah, mm. sprite.load. And then this is where you could specify, I believe, the actual path to the GIF. But now that I think about it, I think that only loads it'll load it an animation for one specific, like let's say that green ninja didn't have 36 pieces and it was just one, then sprite uh -huh. animation load would load that one, but loading all 36 of those wouldn't give us what we need. So I think that right, there right. is another method in there. Um, it's called something different. Um, I think it's like sprite. I, I, the, the name slips me, but it should be in here from somewhere. It's where you'll take a, a list of different gifts at a specific position. Uh, so there was a, um, there, yeah, there are a few that involve lists. There's sprite list and variable sprite list, but I didn't see in sprite list, see, so create animation from a list of sprites all I think that might be transition. it. So where would we specify in this? uh which subset of the sprite we need uh i believe that on that so in the method it, we're taking a list of sprites i think mm -hmm. that's where we could we would call sprite dot load and then hmm, or uh, this, there's a method let me let me just do some quick research i think there's a method where you can actually specify the row or column on an image when creating the animation gotcha okay Oh, so this was sprite animation dot sprite list. We're thinking, and then sprite list takes a list of sprites, and that was positional. That is positional. So now, okay. So we actually need to create a sprite sheet that represents that that uh, the image I sent over with the green ninjas. Got we it. Need to there's going to be a method that we can call to load that sprite sheet. And then from there, 
will get instance of that sprite sheet and say get sprite at index or column zero row one and that'll be how we know which green ninja we're getting on the map got um, it now should i i feel like maybe i should turn this into a stateful widget and we can do that asset loading in its init method how does that sound um that should work yeah that should work yeah all right so we're converting real quick i'm going to add an init state and this will be uh load assets load assets all right so in here we should be able to do that so uh you've mentioned loading we need to create a sprite sheet mm -hmm. right which would uh, tend to be i guess like a not a constant variable but like a global variable that we'll be using and this is just pure flame right yeah yeah and so we could uh, do uh there's a, should be flame.images.load there it is right there. Yep. 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 And that'll give us the image that we then pass into the sprite sheet constructor to give us that sprite sheet. Amazing. So this was green ninja and it's dot ping. Yeah, and do we need to give it the whole asset path of like assets, images, sprite sheets, green ninja? Uh, no, we don't need to do that. Uh, really? If it's if it's in, let me see. So all I put we, in the we, actually we need was... it, it the it since the file is the green ninja is under the sprite sheet, so we just need sprite sheets slash green sprite ninja. That thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. What are you whining about? Image is not defined. Whoops. What's it complaining about? Value of type image where image is defined and da, da, can't be defined. Oh, there's a collision of the types of images. So I think, first of all, we're not using flame tiled anymore. Right? Yeah. Oh, you know, there's also just a crazy amount of incomplete code down here. I'm going to comment all this out. I think that's throwing the thing for a loop so this is unnecessary apparently i do want to import the correct uh yeah so which one you did could, it say there maybe was... you could uh just just take the image out right not the image itself but the the constructor part to say var image to ignore the the red error and then hmm and then for what we need to do, uh, we can just keep going. But there should be a method. Okay. Um, what is it called? Uh, sprite sheet from, well, yeah, we can create, create the sprite sheet. So create an instance. Uh, so the image that it actually pulls in is from Flutter painting. So I am going to just grab that real quick. And then now I think we can say uh, painting.image. Nope. <laughs> That's really? Good, good attempt. <laughs> Why is that not doing a thing? Don't you, uh, where's the image in here? Oh, this is just a barrel file. All right, wait, let's go back. I want to get the, I want to, because we're going to, I don't want to use dynamic, you know? Yeah, you don't like using dynamic even. Yeah, it, it's, there be dragons. Okay, so where the value of image is defined, yeah. And then it's also defined in widgets image. That's fine. I'm actually, I'm actually not quite working out what the issue is here. Uh, if I got rid, I don't need flame game either. That's not needed. So if I get rid of bonfire, of course, other things will error, but then it knows. 
Oh, image extends stateful widget. So that's the issue that we're getting. It's that yeah. image from material, right? And then if we if we get rid of material and show bonfire, now image is going to come from somewhere else. And Dark this is well. now it's coming from painting. Hmm. So yeah, this is Flutter, Lib UI painting, back to main.dart. I don't, I've never had this issue before. This is all also kind of weird. I, think the, I wonder if the, it's- The reason I never, I never had this issue because I usually do like my file initiation in like a separate file. So I never use right. anything material, material related. Yeah. All right, well, let's do that. Uh, so let's add another thing, which is um, green ninja dot dart. And the green ninja will go into that file. And we'll add bonfire in here. OK, now the green ninja uh, is oh i don't think we want to actually put the green ninja in there you just want to have the the sprite sheet initialization in there right 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 yeah. right, right right so i'm going to delete this we'll make a new file uh and this will just be uh, load assets i guess dot dart and in here this will say uh future void i guess load assets async okay and it's going to do this and now we'll import to the things that we need which is bonfire and that all works just fine and let's attach this to the global variable uh image green ninja image Okay. There we go. And that was good. Um, so now we don't need any of this anymore, but we do need to add, we need to import load assets. And we need to call, uh, we'll await load assets. Nice. Ooh. Uh, I just looked at chat. People were trying to help us out. I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we've loaded the image, and now we still need to turn it into a sprite, right? Yes. So I guess in load assets, what we can do is um, we really, I don't think we need to make Green Ninja global, because is the reason you make Green Ninja, the Green Ninja engine, Green Ninja image global is so we can represent other files. Correct. So we really would be using the sprite sheet version because we still had to do some conversion on that image to make it a sprite got it, sheet. Got it, got it, got it. So there's a method called sprite sheet.load, I believe. If you just type in sprite sheet.load, load from, mm -hmm. is it load from, oh, wait, sprite sheet.from. Yeah, columns and rows, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> so that's what Exciting. we passed in image, yeah. All right, and now these columns and rows are? Those are going to be the columns and rows single in that image. Int. Yeah. Interesting. I forgot, what the, I forgot what the columns and rows was on that image, though. We had to look again. So to walk to the right is, I actually don't quite understand this constructor. We just give it one integer so, for columns and rows. Right. Do you, do you understand this? So we're making the sprite sheet based off that image. And then we're specifying uh -huh. how many rows or columns are in it. So that way, when we need to call it in that simple, the green ninja class, we can say, give me the sprite at index zero four. So that means we're walking at zero four. 
I see. Okay, that makes more sense. Sorry, I was thinking, thank you, Trey. I was like, I thought we were going to be giving it like a slice, like a subset of this or something, which in oh. hindsight makes absolutely no sense. Anyway, so it's four columns in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. Hmm. Amazing. And now this is the green ninja asset, right? Yeah. So that would, I think that's a sprite sheet. Or a sprite sheet. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And so then from here on the simple direction animation, uh, we should be able to now create those sprites based off that sprite sheet because we're going to be okay. passing in a list of sprites so we can say green ninja sprite mm. sheet dot get sprite mm. okay i love it i do have a bunch of stuff to close here let me go through that real quick oh man there's a lot of stuff Okay, and I'm going to close spreadsheet as well. So we're back in main.dart. And this is where, yeah, so the first thing is a list of sprites. And like you were just saying, it's going to be green ninja sprite sheet dot get, get sprite, sprite row yeah. column. <laughs> okay, so, and this is idle right. Mm -hmm. So is it, which ones do you think we should use here? So the thing is, like with these, these games, like Idle Right could really be almost any of them where he's not making too much movement. Uh -huh. um, but it's funny because you can use an idle one within one where he's running because he would eventually have a walk posture while running at some point. Right. So it's really right. it's really up to you. But I'd say maybe the second one down all the way to the right. Yeah, nah, like if we if we gave Tough. it a couple, would he just kind of bounce? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly how it would be. So, let, what what do you say we try to give it these first four? Okay, let's see. What so it looks this like. would be uh row, and these are probably zero indexed. I'm guessing so row three yeah. or uh, column three in rows one through three. So no. rows uh, zero through three and column three. And then we just do one, two, three. Yep. And then this needs step time. And that is a double. I'm guessing that's milliseconds. Uh, I don't think so. I think it's actual oh. second. I think. Oh. All right. I'm going to give not, it. I'm not exactly <clears throat> sure. I'm going to give it one. It's either going to be unbelievably fast or unbelievably slow. <laughs> I think I think I think it is actually second. So I think that will be slow, but we'll check it out and see. Okay. So now we need to copy all this for run right. But mm -hmm. I think we want to give. Yeah, where where is he actually running? You know what? I think I realized what you were saying. I think I only want to do this one at index two, and then we're going to do the same set of ones for the running. So I'm going to leave running alone. That should be good. And then I'm going to delete all of them except for two for the idle right. Two, okay. Two sprites or just one sprite? Uh, one sprite at row two. I think it was the one oh, you right. were saying. It looks like he's just totally standing there. Yeah. And uh, it's actually, yeah, it's very similar to the one above it. Okay. Is the game, so do we have it, any chance that this is going to work? Real quick. Is get sprite, is that asking for the column first or the row first? Uh, row. Okay. Okay. I was just making sure we had the coordinates right. Otherwise, our character would look like they were doing some nutty dancing yeah. 
All right, we've got an error. And I have to call the thing. Uh, we got a good question here. So why use bonfire, not just flame? Well, and, and Trey, I certainly want you to take a crack at this as well, but just like I, I heard someone describe flame in a really useful way. Uh, they were fielding a question, why use flame and not just flutter? And they said, well, if you make a game in flutter, you will arrive you know, you will eventually arrive at many of the solutions that are in flame. And I just thought like, oh, that's A, correct, and B, a very succinct way to put it. And I think the same thing is still true for Bonfire. Like, of course, there's no magic in here. There's nothing that you uh, can't do. We're getting, oh, I seem to have a bad column here. So it's assets, images, sprite sheets, and it has assets, images, sprite sheets, green ninja dot ping. Green Ninja not paying. Wow, that hmm, that really does look like it's there. <laughs> Unable to load assets. Assets, images, sprite underscore sheets, green underscore ninja dot ping. Trey, are you seeing the error? Yeah, I'm not. It's not easy for me to do. Um, did you? completely restart and not, that wouldn't matter i'm not sure why i was doing that yeah sometimes with assets maybe but i thought i did completely restart i don't think it's gonna whenever work. i have like, anyway whenever i have issues with assets i always think it's just something related to restarting again right uh, and it rarely is it's it's normally i actually genuinely did something wrong but boy here i'm really not seeing what it is um spreadsheets so unable to load asset assets images sprite sheets so i'm going to copy this string and then i'm going to say ll and there it is 5.1 kilobyte image so that's from the root of the file or a root of the project So is it because this assets directory, is there something else that we have to do to like populate this? No, not to my knowledge. It shouldn't be anything else. So folks in chat are asking, is there something we need to do in pubspec.yaml? So uh, honestly, that, that could be it actually. Getting uh, assets to load is kind of always the that's a very oh. good point. You do have to specify the sprite sheets directory. You got to specify every directory you use under images, unfortunately. Right. Yeah. I oh, forgot I about the that. wrong thing. Yeah. Okay. So, chat to the rescue. Thank you, the many people who, uh, Iren had it right. Uh, this name they, they, that I am too illiterate to read had it right. Another one, another one. <laughs> they were, they were on top of it. Yeah, they were on top <laughs> yep. of it. Not recursive. Uh, okay. So there we go. Let's run again. Um, so to wrap up that other thing, Eric said, okay, you know, got it. But yeah, so for anyone else who's wondering, this is just a bunch of helpers on top of Flame that if you're making an RPG game in Flame, you're probably going to build. All right. Yeah. So And, and real, oh. real quick, I I want to I want to piggyback off that answer. Um, as far as like using bonfire over flame, I recently ran into something where, when I was creating a Mario game in Flame, the I was trying to create physics that allowed him to uh, run into boundaries. That way, he can stand on the ground. And I had to do like a lot of extra steps that bonfire already took care of because they come with different gravitational pulls, blocking callbacks, and things like that to where. I could allow Mario to stand on the ground like out the gate. So it's really just like Craig said, it's just coming to solutions that have already been built when using certain packages. Yep. Absolutely. I, I that's good. You know, that's good that we got the we got the game in here though. Yeah. Uh 
especially with physics based stuff, you know, collision detection, any of those really tricky kinds of things like, man, I, I appreciate packages that deliver that for us. All right. So now he's kind of I think 0.1 seconds is too fast. Is there a time that you remember kind of feeling good? Uh, I don't know. Point one looks kind of accurate to me. Oh, you I feel think like he's moving too fast? Yeah, I think because well, he's small, it's... so I think his his arm. Okay. Moving. He's moving slowly. I feel like his feet. He's like really shuffling. Uh, yeah. But all right. Now here's a cool thing. You mentioned that they only said you had to do the right and idle right, and mm -hmm. that's because here's another great trick from Bonfire. They're just flipping it for us if we're going left. Mm hmm. Looks like that's it. pretty good. That's pretty good. And this joystick widget is nice if we were on mobile, but it's not my favorite on desktop. Do they have a similarly convenient like WASD uh, widget? No, not to my knowledge. The joystick is, I think, the only UI component that they have within Bonfire. Got it. Got it. OK. Maybe we can uh, build one and, and contribute. All right. So the dude is moving. Um, and honestly, you know, this this wouldn't take forever in in flame, but and it kind of took us forever because we didn't know what we we're doing. And we had the wrong map type and lots of things that aren't really bonfires fault. But you can you can, I think, already see that if you're you've gotten past a little bit of the learning curve with bonfire, like you start whipping stuff together pretty darn quick here. So I think that's pretty neat. Uh, all right, what's uh, what's another thing that might make sense for us to do? Um, so now we could uh, potentially add um, some enemies or objects. Um, I guess that would make sense to have an enemy in the game. Yep. Uh, it's yeah, it's not too rich of a game experience just yet so i'm going to go back to the sprite sheet and you got this crazy thing here uh yeah of a, a demon uh cyclops, demon cyclops. That? oh yeah, yeah that is what you named it all right so let's there was, add this. There, was, there was some random uh i guess uh sprite package that i found for like a, a ninja game and it came with all these assets nice oh i love it I use Kenny NL a lot, so I'm, I'm no stranger to random spray packets. I do yeah. love Kenny NL's art style. Um, OK, so I'm going to add this. I'm guessing there's probably just like we had tons of helpers, you know, simple player and whatnot. I'm guessing there is similar helpers for enemies. Yeah, there's a simple enemy. Uh, yeah, I love enemy. it. All right, so this is going to be demon extends simple enemy. And let's see what this needs. Again, a call to constructor looking very similar. OK. <clears throat> now, here's another thing. I'm guessing on Bonfire Widget, there's a place for, there's like a thing for enemies. Oh, there's already, there's actually not. All right, well, that's not bad because I wanted to make enemies through some kind of like spawning mechanism. Um, I see what you're saying, like on a map and have multiple and specify where they're at, like actual locations and things like that. Yeah. And maybe when you kill one, another one spawns, stuff like that. Uh, so how how does Bonfire think about adding enemies? As so with right enemies, away? there is I think you just roll past it, but there's a, oh. a, a param called um, Objects Builder. Oh, and OK. So Objects Builder lets you put you can put enemies on the map, decorations, um, other items, just any type of object. But this is within when he, this callback in here is where you specify, all right, I want five demons at these positions on the map. Hmm. All right. That sounds like exactly what I want. I, I, I don't think it's called objects builder. Uh, let's look at the actual super constructor again. My joystick player interface debug collision lighting components overlay builder map i don't think oh. that would be it Let what is components see. list of game components so that could be it but i i do want like oh i guess we could have a game component that is just like our enemy spawner or something Does oh that you make know sense? what it is the object builder is is within the map so um, if you go back to the main.dart file, oh. 
and go it's, within world yeah world by tile there should be yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay and this is a map of strings to object builders and that is a oh just a function that takes mm -hmm. this tiled object properties thing okay that's unknown to me but we'll learn together well you probably already know uh and it just returns a game component okay all right so uh this seems good so let's get into that objects builder now the key that you give it is this how you access it later so could this be like demon spawner or something so this would be within the json file that we made on that map is where we would specify um we would specify where we want that demon at and so it's pretty much reading that json file for how many occurrences of demon spawner did we see put them at these locations so uh i should if you go to the json file real quick we can just look up what the name is i have for the demon uh okay. it might be what is it called type in oh, demon dark ninja yeah okay it's just demon and it should only be one right now but um if we come back to the main.dart file okay um, so now we just put and, demon here yep change that the demon and then um i think on the objects builder oh, there I should be an I extra understand. param i i i think i'm i see how this is going maybe so yeah. i'm gonna have a actually let, let's make it like a static um like demon build demon or something. And this is going to take that uh, tiled object properties thing, right? And it's going to return a demon. And we're going to give it the position from the tiled object properties is what I am I think is going to happen. <clears throat> yes. So demon dot build demon, so, I'm guessing, goes here. So what you can do right there, actually what you want to do is first there's a param that comes with the objects builder so if it take the demon dot build demon out and put uh properties what's this oh, that's, right that's how, oh okay that's how you went okay got you got you got you that works and then what i'm thinking we're gonna do is just that's take exactly the x and the y out of this right exactly and that's yeah. going to be its coordinates okay so, so you can really just do props dot props dot position oh love that amazing and then the size is probably also specified oh you know i guess that's just known oh well we kind of we've got width and height so we do have a size mm -hmm. you can do the same thing here nice now the demon needs some sprites so we're gonna get back into the same game we were playing with the green ninja um and again close some of these other files load assets so here we'll have the demon sprite sheet and i'm going to copy all of this and you are the demon image <laughs> uh sprite sheets oh we actually have two of them right because there's idle and walking so there's demon idle and walking all right so this was demon cyclop walk and this will be demon walk image and then this will be the demon walking sprite sheet will come from the demon walk image and there's just one row but how many columns was it for walking is six so one row and six columns now we duplicate this for idle demon get out of here emoji pop up idle image comes from demon cyclops cyclop singular idle and then this is the idle sprite sheet and this comes from 
demon walk idol that's not it <laughs> demon idol image and it's five columns this time all right now we're back to the demon super constructor and we're just going to steal right out of the animation grab all of this how much did i copy i don't know what i copied i'm grabbing the animation parameter in the pot there we go so right now it's going to look a lot like the ninja <laughs> That'll be confusing, but maybe an advanced demon type. Uh, so this was idle, right? So that is, we basically just, we want all five because I think he's got like a little bounce to him here. So mm -hmm. this is demon idle sprite sheet. And let's say the row for us here is zero and the column is one. And then we're going to add five of those. And that's that wasn't correct. That was really you got them all in the over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Okay. So that's our idle dude. And he's really gonna be popping here. I think we're gonna want to slow him down. Let's try a third of a second. Even no, I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out together. All right. Now then for walking again, we're just going to want all six of them. So this is the demon walking sprite sheet. And it's all uh, row one and the different columns. So we're going to grab six of these. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. What do you think? We're going to have a dude. Let's go. uh oh randall says he thinks we can do assets thingy thing thing um you know i did actually try mm. to use a single star for the blob earlier and it, it wasn't working um but I, I i of course should have tried two stars so maybe maybe that would work all right i do want to mm. speed up our ninja because yeah. you know ninjas are supposed to be fast oh they're blinking in and out that's interesting oh why are they doing that so oh. they're probably getting an incorrect gif while they're yes. stepping through. Yeah. Yep. Also, so they're moving way too slow. So demon idol, we gotta we gotta get them pop in here. So oh, of course, it's zero indexed. Ah uh, yeah, good. Didn't even notice that myself. How silly of me. And this time, instead of renaming them all, I'm gonna be smarter okay that should be better so here we go <laughs> the game is building uh why does the column start from zero because all counting and computing starts from zero that's the best answer to give that question everything starts from zero yeah Hey, now they don't blink out of existence. Though if they were like, you know, interdimensional demons, the blinking in and out wasn't all bad. I think, oh man, that's a really, really subtle bounce. I don't know how much it's even going to be coming through on the stream here. Um, they're, they're pretty. Yeah, that bounce time is still kind of slow. Yeah. So we got it at point two. I guess let's double the speed. I kind of wish it was a little more pronounced, but maybe just all the characters need to be bigger. Could be. Oh, <laughs> Randall verified. Can't do it. <laughs> okay. Next thing I want to. So. Okay. <laughs> Next thing I want to do is make the Green Ninja run faster after we confirm. Now they just look like they're hyperventilating, but we're going with it. They're hyperventilating demons. Uh, I mean, why it started from one, not zero, my bad. Oh, that's just because I typed total nonsense. It wasn't never going to work. Okay. How do we make the ninja run faster? That's what I want to do next. Um, here we go. Speed. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So there's probably some default speed, which we're going to find as we keep drilling around. We still don't know the speed, 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 speed. Still don't know the speed. Uh, movement, maybe. Default speed, 80. Great. 
Oh, this is very precise. Something. Oh, diagonal reduction. Oh, nice. Okay. That's the uh, the how, how you have moving diagonally not be like a speed boost. Um, all right. So the speed was 80. Let's say, I guess we'll go after animation. Speed. I, I really want to be much faster. I want to get to those demons on the map. <laughs> Double the speed. All right. What should we do next after we test this out? Oh, that's a ninja. That's a ninja. Look at that. He's just scooting. It's like Percy Harvin out here. Um, Watch so the uh, Florida Gators <laughs> documentary on Netflix recently. Uh, anyway, yeah. So what's uh, uh, I, the enemies need to follow us, right? Yes. Yes. Um, so that's where we would need to modify the demon class. Um, okay. There is a mix in um, that we add to the demon class. It's automatic movement something like that but this it'll give us some some callback methods for what we do when we uh see it uh the player close to us automatic random yeah, automatic movement. random movement yeah okay. and it provides just a bunch of different callbacks we're adding random movement like enemy walking through the scene okay so da, da, da. so run and movement method that should be used in update okay so this has a lot of parameters here. Is this going to add? It looks like this is definitely doing a lot on its own. So mm -hmm. should we just try it right now? Yeah. Yeah, this this method looks like it has some serious uh, logic in it already. Okay, there's some like target distance stuff. No, so we're gonna have to do something yeah. to activate this. It looks like they did say to call the method in update. So maybe that's what we have to do. We actually have to call the method in update. The doc said that. So void update, that takes the double DT. And then we'll call this method which itself takes the DT and override. Oh, nope, still mad. Must what call super. Uh, I still have that print statement coming somewhere. It's printing the whole JSON map every time and I'm super annoyed by it, but I couldn't find it. Uh, all right. Was it a print? I was going yeah. to, is it a, is it a, uh, what if you search for the print statement in the code? Yeah, I've closed the files. So we just have to find the right file. All right. So they are moving. They're not following us yet, but they're moving. So that was certainly part of the issue. And the movement is random. So the mix in, I think, has lived up to the billing. I wonder if there's any parameters. Check position with ray cast, on start move. All right. So there's nothing. Should be, there doesn't should seem to be, be a, uh, a method for seek and move to player. Oh. Okay. I'm not seeing it in here. I'm guessing it's a different thing, a different mix in. So I'm going to search bonfire simple enemy. And oh, oh, I didn't really, didn't really find it. But what is this? Simple enemy. Oh, it is in bonfire. Oh, the Google result here like hid that it was bonfire. Can't see it other than I guess now I'm noticing it here. Interesting. Let's also make this bigger. Okay, so we're in bonfire. Oh, I kind of wanted to see also documentation. Does this have random? All right, so this has automatic random movement. So this should also list whatever the mixin is. Will this mixin have a C also? No. 
See, kids, always write your C also. Really handy. All right, just skimming here. Do you remember what the other mixin is called? Um, the way I have it is it's, it's just called that mix in automatic random movement, but it came with a method called C and move to player. Interesting. I don't think they removed it that quick. Hmm. Hmm. It, it, it seems to be moment? somewhere else. Uh, let me I feel like I kind of want to just open the, uh, I'm going to open all of Bonfire in another window so we can search for stuff. Bonfire. Loading. There we are. Into the S code. There. Yeah, auto, I'm not sure why it's not in there the, in the automatic random movement. But it doesn't look like it's in there anymore. Weird. All right. Um, in... Got bonfire pulled down. Um, <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, so Randall did say, yeah, there's an issue about this and uh, the assets thing. It's not gonna be a not gonna be a thing. And Bard was uh, how he uh, how he found that. Way to go, Bard. Oh, there go. All right, we're looking for what was it? Seek, C, uh, S E C, and move and. to player. Interesting. All right, so there is a. These are in the examples. I don't really want. Oh, you know what? Should have loaded this up. Oh no, it's fine. Okay, back to the search. Don't want rotation enemy extension, NPC extension. That's the, I think that's the one that you want, NPC extension. See and move to player returns a shape. Interesting. All right. So we're back in main dot dart in our game and on the demon glass we're going to add npc movement nope we're going to add npc extensions on npc i wonder hmm. if an enemy is an npc they're not I'm okay not. there's also rotate and oh enemy extensions this is what we want Seeing a move to tack range, seeing a move to player, critter, god. I'll see how they do it in this goblin class. Oh, so it's seen observed to tack range. Interesting. So, C player is what they call. So, first of all, a goblin yeah, is a simple enemy, and they've got automatic random movement, and then that's it. So, that's fine. Now, in their update method, they, so, you know, got a kill switch here. That's good. Is the game actually running? If not, and just says a whole another kill switch. It's good. Uh, so they call C player, and this is going to basically look at its uh, range and maybe, maybe like not see through walls or something. That would be pretty cool. Um, and then we've got observed and not observed uh options so that's pretty cool and i'm going to copy all of this <laughs> so c player is going to go into we're not calling random movement anymore we're calling all of this all right so we don't have an attack yet uh radius vision Oh, I, let's just give it like a uh, hundred or something. Yeah, tile size. So a hundred for us is going to be several tiles. And the attack range here. So min distance from player. This is the attack range. Sure, that's fine. So we'll say like 32 or something. And then once we're in position, there's a ranged attack that we're not going to have. The vision for them is 
wait a minute. I thought that's what I was specifying up here. Radius. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of parameters on this method. All right, we'll just give this 100 again. I'm not really sure. Not observed. I think, the, I think the difference between those two are one of them is for the radius that it would take for them to go into attack mode. The other one is for them to just notice you because they can mm. notice you without uh, doing an attack yet, I believe, a certain attack. I see. But yeah, there's a lot of customization when it comes to these methods. I don't think you need that. Oh, you're right. We don't need anything for that. All right, because I just grabbed a bunch of actual code. We weren't leaning on a mixin anymore. Uh, it's coming together, though. I'm moving around. Hey, hey, hey. So if we get close, are they going to follow us? No. Boo. They still got the random movement, it looks like. So they call random movement in this update method. They're C player. So we're, I'm guessing we're not uh, observed because they're, well, move towards target and then not observed. They do eventually run some random uh, movement. But... I think that their radius vision is, might be throwing something off. Hmm. Yeah, let's look at the docs for that. NPC extension, C player. So this method we notify when we detect the player in radius vision configuration. It doesn't really say much more about what that is. Radius vision goes into the C component method. Radius vision defaults to 32. And then it gets use shape vision. Radius vision can see. Rectangle shape, other shape. So we draw a thing and then you just, yeah, check for a collision. So that'll make sense. It feels like those should just be normal. There, here's some more why you use bonfire. They're going to check to make sure you can't see through walls. So that's pretty good. Um, anyway, yeah, it feels like we haven't seen any evidence that this would be anything other than game pixels. Um, <laughs> All right, I'm going to. What don't happens if you if you if you take out the uh, move to if the move to random uh, call? Oh, that'll be a good test. Yeah, that'll be a good see. test. Because then we'll know. Are they just going to sit still? Yeah. Uh, I think if we can get them following the player, that could be a good breaking point. What do you think? I think that's good. All right. Mm -hmm. Great thinking. They're not moving. So we're pretty sure they are sitting in not observed and see and move to attack range. Yeah, I wonder. Well, we, we know they were getting down here We because we commented out and they stopped moving. So the question is just why are they not seeing the player and getting into observed? <clears throat> I wonder, I don't think that there's anything with collisions needed here. Game ref not player. Well, this is interesting. We did, there is, we set up the player correctly, right? Yes. Okay. So return C component. Yeah, I'm just looking at how this code works. C component has the observed and not observed. And this is what we were just looking at. But yeah, so if we're moving, that's not us. Can see observed, not observed, right. So we're definitely getting into not observed. And I kind of want to see <clears throat> why. So one, I have one thought here. We thought there was one demon. There 
There are two, it seems. Demon, demon. There we go. So I'm going to get rid of one of them. So I can put print statements in here and we'll know that each print statement is just for that one demon. We won't have to worry about what's what. So in vision, in can see, there's in shape on a first check. And I also want to see, yeah, how big is this rectangle? And I guess like the size we really want. And then we've got in shape. So if in shape and check with Raycast, what was the default on that? And check with Raycast is, where did that come from? Is set to true. Okay, so we are gonna make this check. Then we've got our Raycast results. So I'm gonna check that as well. Print uh, Raycast result. And then we're gonna get all of this. See, we see. Raycast. Hi, Workshops asks, will Flutter support 3D games in the future? Um, it's a good question. I think eventually. Yeah, I think eventually. All right, so before when we're really far away, we're seeing that this rectangle is pretty small. It's like one square, and then we're not in the shape. So that's expected. So let's get down by this demon here. Okay, so now in shape is true, but we're getting false on Raycast. So you mentioned hitboxes, and mm -hmm. is it that we need a hitbox? I think that's exactly what it is. Um, so we can just do that in both of the constructors of the player, uh, the green ninja, and the demon. Got it. So, yeah, you got it. Uh, no, no, no. It'll be uh, actually at hit. It should be at hitbox. Should be a, a native method on the, the player class. So if you, um, oh, in if you create a constructor oh, in this okay. class, in on update, I think we would, right? I wasn't. Uh, well, anything. we're just assigning it, so we wouldn't need to put in the update. We can just in the constructor. Just oh, sorry. Add it on load is what i meant but i'm uh so we've got positions uh, oh no there doesn't seem to be i think we are gonna have to do it in on load but you're definitely right not on not update yeah there is uh there's actually i think there's okay so there's a mix in called object collision that we can add. I think with right. that mix in, with that mix in, then we'll have a method called setup collision. Um, oh, is this is this uh, base flame? Yes. Got it. I, so it, it's like, yeah, has collision. Oh, how did the cursor get there? Uh, with has collision detection. I can never remember whether it's like there's one you put on the root game and then there's another one you put on the actual. I think has uh, collision detection is on the game. And then object collision yep. is on the, the character. So that one didn't come up for me, but I don't know if I. Are you sure it's called object collision? Object collision. Yeah. Now there is a new version of flame. Okay. Let's have it just, well, yeah, we can look here too, but I was going to just type in collision and see what pops up. Oh, in, uh, in flutter. Yeah. For a mix in, just see what pops up when we type in. Um, Am I on the right one here? Oh, bond. No, that's not even the right one at all. All right. So sorry. You were <clears throat> saying. Yeah. Just type in. Collision callback has been detection. Yeah, I feel like it's one of those two. 
hash collision detection or collision callbacks can be used to get callbacks from the collision detection system. No, I don't think that's, this isn't the one we want. Collision callbacks on component. Oh, maybe it's this. Hmm. Let's see here, here. Private name, active collisions, conflicts. <clears throat> uh, conflicts with one, what? Oh, maybe it's already, is it already in the simple player? Oh, attackable, like game component. Is that from Bonfire as well? It is. So position component, collision cool. callbacks. Cool. Aha. So, but we still need to add the hitbox, I think. I think what we could do is call setup collision inside the green ninja. And that would give us what we need. And where does setup collision happen? Uh, in the onload or the construction. Oh, sorry. Where is it defined? Oh, sorry, my bad. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, all the way through game component, I'm not seeing setup collision. It looks like it's in collision on the bonfire package. So oh. lib, yeah, I see we have lib base game component. I think it's lib collision. So I see collision util. No, that's not it. Collision dot dart. In lib, you saw it? Mm, yeah, but now that I think about it, I don't know if I'm, I'm using an older version of Bonfire 2.1.2. You're on Got three, it. it looks like. Yeah, so I'm going to, oh wait, that was, then the collision so callbacks, this does just come from flame, collision callback. So I think we just need to follow base flame collision stuff, which I never remember. I 100% always have to look it up. Uh, look at the latest stuff. Collision detection. Very good. So my game looking good. My collidable collision with so collision callbacks that's what it was using so there's just yeah the on collision but we still have to add the hitbox there we go mm -hmm. this is what we want so i will return to the player no to main dot dot yeah see and we're almost all the way there what's your problem isn't a valid override <clears throat> oh future or Fine. Okay. So now it might work. Do you have it in the demon as well? I don't, but I don't know if it needs that because in the ray casting code, it was just looking for a collision with the uh. Oh, we are now invisible. But it, oh, it is fine. He's following us now. Follow Yep. He's got better vision than we do. <laughs> <laughs> what a crafty yes. enemy. I'm not sure what happened though. Why he disappeared? Yeah. Me. Oh, probably because we have to call super dot on load. Uh, I bet I just like ruined everything. <laughs> everything else is working though. Yeah. All right. Well, this feels pretty good. Get back here, game. There we go. Helps when you don't Beautiful. delete all the code uh, or short circuit the code that the framework has. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. <laughs> and it, it looks pretty good with this walking animation you found. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is like this and so much more is in your video on uh, on Bonfire. Oh, look at it. It, it, it got lost now. Oh boy, yeah. there he goes. Come back. <laughs> and we have no boundaries, so he's just going to leave the game world. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, interesting. He kind of got like stuck in this motion as we left his radius because we're faster than him. Then he just got stuck in that direction. Yeah. Really like, what is that? It's interesting. interesting. Yeah. Potentially some refinement uh, to be made on the simple enemy <laughs> class. Be a little too simple. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So I do want to just remind everybody: you gotta check out Trey's channel here where there's i mean you got you got a ton of videos and the green ninja yeah i think it's this one right here so this is a video yeah. that we just did the simplest little version of uh but yeah you've got a, a ton of stuff going here and, oh you have a back end one too with nakama Trey, you're kidding. Yeah, I just I just got hit to Nakama. I really I want to see what Nakama can do for me with a lot of the games I'm working on, but I just got hit to it. It's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, I've heard great things about it. What's your uh what's your initial impression? Um, I think that it's a very uh just a simple way to set up some like online gaming features like leaderboards or online matches, mm -hmm. uh friend groups. Um it's 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 pretty much just like a simple API to get all that integrated. I haven't seen any other type of gaming package that integrates as well with apps and stuff like that. So Nakama mm -hmm. really, from what I can tell, it's it's a, a really good contestant for for adding online gaming. Nice. Did they have like leader? Or you said leaderboards? Do they have matchmaking and um, yeah, you know, individual dedicated instances to actually run a single real time match? Uh, I know that they have matchmaking. I don't know how detailed they get into what okay. they're providing, but I know they do provide matchmaking, though. Nice. So, awesome. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Nakama has been on my list of things to to look at more as well, but uh, I just haven't yet. Uh, well, man, Trey, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks so much for walking me through this and showing everybody uh, that not, you know, you don't just have to stop with flame and there's a whole bunch of super helpful utilities in bonfire as well. Any last thoughts from you, Trey? I want to thank you personally for reaching out to me. Um, I've definitely been watching your videos for a long time. So I'm definitely honored once I got the invite. Um, so thank you for having <laughs> me and Thank you to everyone out there who watches my videos. Thank you for, you know, the entire Flutter community itself. Just very grateful to be a part of something that's still growing and learning every day. So thank you so much. Well, man, very well said. Uh, I just put my computer to sleep on accident. I don't know if the stream actually <laughs> flickered or not. <laughs> very well said, Trey. Uh, yeah, the pleasure was all mine. Uh, I, I assure you of that. Everybody, thanks for tuning in, whether you're watching live or in the future. Hopefully, Bonfire looked pretty exciting. If you've been into Flame, hopefully you feel like you're now into Bonfire as well. Uh, and folks, we'll see you all on the next uh, on the next episode next week. See you later, everybody. <laughs>